Hey everyone, welcome back to my bathroom. I'm gonna do really, I think this is gonna be a quick video. This video is sponsored by L'Oreal. I've been working with L'Oreal for a good part of 2020 and that partnership is going to continue into 2021 and the focus is their Age Perfect line, which makes me very excited in these days of inclusion that they are including women of a certain age. I'm adding that phrase, not them. It's nice to see a line that is targeted specifically for women over 40, over 50. It's not that if you're younger than that that you can't use these products. I think they're wonderful, beautiful, well-made products that suit a variety of ages and skin tones, but it does address specific needs that you see more in my age group, like drier skin, fine lines, a different color palette. So today we are gonna talk about blush. Now I have raved about a few of their products already. You by now should know how much I love their Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation, which I am wearing today. I wear most days and I am wearing it in the shade Rose Ivory. They have a great concealer in this line. They have a great powder foundation that I use as a setting powder in this line. They have great lipsticks. I am wearing beautiful rosewood today. I really wanted a very soft color today because we're gonna be talking about blush and two different tones and how much that can change the way you look. Now, blush is very different for me than say someone with a darker complexion because everything shows up on my skin but the concept's going to work across the spectrum. I wanted to show you this bullet, by the way. Do you see that moisturizer right in the middle? That's one of the things that they think about for our age group, that we need a little more moisture in the lips. And so with every swipe, you get a little more. I wanted to stay pretty neutral on the lip color because I didn't want it to compete for your attention with the blush. So I have all my makeup on today. I will list everything down in the description box. The only thing that I don't have on is blush and I look I think I look, let me look in the mirror. I think I look okay, but I think we could take it to another level and give my look a healthier glow. On one side of my face, I'm gonna use a very neutral, soft blush. On the other side of my face, I'm gonna go with something that's a very bright pop of color that you should not be afraid to use. But I'm gonna show you a few shades before we jump in. So this is probably my most used of the bunch, and this is Peony. We all know how well blushes swatch, so that's Peony, and that is the softest, I'd say most lightest neutral shade, and that's what I'm gonna, one of the shades I'm gonna be using today. This one is Mauved, or Mauved. There is some discussion as to how you pronounce that. And that's the next one up, right there. Obviously, when you apply these with a blush brush, you're not gonna get this dense pigment, but the next one is Berry. If I had to pick favorites, Berry's on the top there. This is one of them. It's really, it's not a flat matte. None of them are. It has a satin sheen to it that's gonna add some life to your cheeks. No sparkles. Next we have Amber. And Ambers are really unique when you don't see a lot of more brown toned blushes. I really love how wearable this is. A really fun shade. And then lastly, we have Marigold. And this is the other one I'm gonna show you on my cheeks. Let me get a clean finger. And there it is swatched on my hand. So those are the shades I have to work with today. And I, like I said, I'm gonna pick the softest shade on one side, the lightest, and then I'm gonna show you how to work with that bright pop of color so that you are not afraid to use it because no matter what your skin tone is, you can use all of these blushes on your face. Maybe the lightest one would be more like a highlighter or a blush topper for some people, but okay. So before I get into the actual blush application, I do want to address the order in which you put on your blush products, your face products, and where to place it, because there is some discussion. First of all, there's no wrong way. You do it however you want. The way that I prefer is I like to put on my bronzer all over first. My favorite right now is the L'Oreal Lumi bronzer. It has been for a long time. It's what I have on today. Then I put on my highlighter on my cheekbones. And the last thing I do for complexion is place my blush kind of in the middle between my highlighter and on my bronzer and kind of meld the two together. I feel like placing the blush on top of your highlighter makes the highlighter kind of glow from behind the blush. It's a softer look with the highlighter 
and it's the most natural looking. I mean, there's nothing, nobody has a natural glow on their cheekbones quite like that, but it's the most wearable, softest look I feel. If you don't wear highlighter, it's a non-issue. I'd still do the bronzer first and then add the blush on top. So let's start with Peony, which is the lightest shade. There's some discussion, oh, there's a lot of discussion all over the internet as to where to put your blush. The old school rule is you smile, find the apples of your cheek and dot it on. And that works to some degree, except watch what happens when I smile, here's the apple of my cheek. And then when I stop smiling, it, sh it drops. So it's nice to know where the apple of your cheek is. The idea is that blush, I'm talking a lot, I know, but blush adds that glow of youthfulness. If you look at a cute little cherubic toddler running around outside in cold weather and they have those bright rosy cheeks, that flush of youth, we kind of lose that as we age. So you're trying to replace that youthfulness with blush. You don't wanna accentuate your face moving downward with gravity. It's already doing that all by itself just fine. So what I like to do, I'm gonna dab my brush in and then it's always best to, to tap it off in the back of your hand. Blush is one of those things that you can go too far very quickly. And I like to know where the apple of my cheek is, but then I like to go a little higher up and I like to blend it back. And then you can always add more, and it's a nice, soft flush. Sometimes I like to also add it up here just to kind of tie it all in together. But most of the color is gonna be concentrated right here. I love this shade. There is some color to my cheeks. I'll go like this. I look alive. I feel like my eyes look brighter. I am smiling, so that's going to help. But that's what a soft blush looks like. Now, let's go over here. And I'm gonna go for marigold. So I love using bright red, orangey red, bright, bright pink blushes in the winter specifically because like I referenced about the toddler playing outside, it gives you that just in from playing in the snow look. And I think it's just a really flattering look that you can definitely get away with more in the winter because in the summer, if you have red cheeks, it just looks like you're overheating and getting heat stroke. So this one for sure, you definitely, look at all that pigment. You definitely wanna tap off and then very lightly. I'm actually gonna switch my blush brush to something a little smaller on this one. I don't want it all over my face. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna to fix too much. So I think we can agree that's too much. I, I think it's too much. Some people like a lot of blush and that's great. But to me, this is a little it's a little more than I, I'm comfortable with. So when you've gotten to this step and you're like, oh no, my whole face is done, what do I do? Grab the brush you use to put on your foundation and smooth over it. I'm actually gonna use the mirror that's built in here. So I'm just gonna go over this. It has, I didn't add any foundation to it, but it has, you know, remnants and it helps blend it all in. At this point, so this is the bright, orangey red. This is the softer peachy pink. There's not a huge difference. They're pretty, I mean, there's a slight color difference. But if I didn't tell you I was wearing two different color blushes and you met me on the street, would you even notice? I don't know. One other trick to tone down the blush a little bit, of course, is to grab either a powder foundation, that's ideal, or a more opaque setting powder. I'm gonna grab the powder foundation the Creamy Powder Foundation. I am not entirely sure what shade this is. I ripped off the label. If I can figure it out, I'll put it down in the description box. And you can always tone it down even more with a little powder application. And there you go. Okay, for the sake of evening things out, I am gonna add more of the Marigold to this side in a minute. I'm putting it a little higher up, lifts up the face. See how it gives that sheen? Can you see the light reflecting off it? And there you have it, let me zhuzh my hair. I just feel like blush is one of those cosmetic products that doesn't get enough love, but can be so transformative to your full look. So there you have it, a little demo. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much to L'Oreal for this ongoing partnership. Thanks to all of you who make these things possible by your support, by watching, liking, commenting, and so on. And because this is Daily December, I will be back tomorrow. I hope you are too. I will see you then. Thanks for watching, guys.